Today I'm in the garage constructing a J-pole antenna based on these plans from the, I think, Manitoba Amateur Radio Society. So the first tricky thing is I want to get these two pipes to be 1 and 13 16 inches on center apart from one another. Now I have one of these pipes here and on the dial calipers, the cheap Harbor Freight dial calipers, it measures what is that? Call it 36, uh, 40 60 fourths. You know, I say that, and I had this whole elaborate thing with gauge pins set up, but I just jammed a one, two, three block in there. And rough measurements were like, Pretty close, maybe a sixteenth off. And I guess the question is, do I have enough engagement of the camera? Do I have enough engagement down here to make like an actual soldered connection? I think I might. So I think let's just try this. A very fair question to ask would be, Chris, have you ever soldered copper pipe before? And the answer to that is no, I have not. Let's see how it goes. That's wicked easy. Oh, that went well. Let's get this other connection going. I'm gonna put on this flux. Apparently cleans and fluxes in one step. That's gotta be a good thing, yeah? This joint is still pretty hot, so I'm doing my best not to touch it. Do the same thing over here. Just get you cleaned and fluxed. There we go. And these don't have to be watertight, just electrically tight. So I'm trying less than I would for real. Okay, I've got a one, two, three block clamped between these two pipes. They're pretty well secured together. They're pretty rigidly connected. I'm just gonna try to solder it. Yeah, man, plumbing is easy. Okay, so according to my reading of the drawings, this stub element here from, I would guess, center line up to the tip wants to be Q, which is equal to 19 and 3 16 inches. So let's go ahead and mark that off. Those of you just have to trust, I did some measuring, and I'm at 19 and 3 16 inches right here. I'm making a mark with my garbage shop knife. I wish I had a Sharpie. Actually, I do have a Sharpie, but I'm just going to use this pen just to point to it so I see it in a moment when I'm using my, uh, okay, I got my cutters right on the line here. Let's see if we can make this cut. I'm going to do this the wrong way for the sake of filming. Normally, you would rotate the cutter around the pipe, but I'm rotating the pipe around the cutter. Just, you know, for challenge. I'm making this specifically for one person because if there's somebody who understands bad shop YouTube videos, it's Justin Deering. All right, pop, there we go. Okay, I've got that one, two, three block clamped on there again. I've got um, the flux on this joint. So I'm gonna try to solder it again. <laughs> Oh, 
more solder is going to be better, right? I'm sure. I'm sure there's actual plumbers or people who are at least moderately competent laughing at me, but you know what? You're not in my garage. Okay, so while that cools, this longer element here is supposed to be 57 and 11 16 So let's go ahead. There's, let me zoom out. There we go. There's the longer element. We're gonna go 57 and 11 16 I will measure that and I will cut that. You might find yourself saying, that's not 57 and 11 16 No, it's not, it's 58. You know what, I'm gonna cut it slightly long and then I can take it down to size when I have my antenna analyzer attached. So I'm gonna just make a little mark and then I will cut it there. Okay, this time doing it the right way. Oop, actually hang on to the piece I'm cutting. Ding, 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 ding. Tighten, tighten. Oop, there she goes. All right, so if I understand antenna theory correctly, which I do not, uh, the J-pole is a half wave antenna. So this section here, this radiator, is one half wavelength. And it's counterpoised against this quarter wavelength stub. Like here and here are one half wavelength bent over each other. Uh, so again, I don't understand antenna theory, but my understanding is that this half wavelength matched against this guy radiates effectively. Some plans, these included, oops, here we go, call for this section here to also be this Q dimension, which is roughly 19 inches, which is roughly a quarter wavelength. Um, other plans don't call for that. Other plans say it can be an arbitrary length or no length. So, uh, you know what? I've got 19 inches of copper pipe. I'll just put it on there, see what happens.